Women get advice about their pregnancy from many places and many people. Risk asked over 7,000 women to share how communications about pregnancy risk affected them and the outcomes of their pregnancies. Here is what we found. What I found most frustrating was the imbalance of information. There were certain topics I heard about over and over, like the dangers of smoking or drinking alcohol, but next to nothing about looking after my mental health. If there'd been more focus on this, maybe I wouldn't have been as likely to develop postnatal depression. Women must be at the heart of pregnancy-related research. So let's ask them, what do they want to know about? Because women's needs are as important as and inextricably linked with those of their babies. I was too scared to tell my midwife my epilepsy was worse because I worried about any risks to my baby if I was told to increase my meds. If I'd had more balanced information, maybe I wouldn't have been so afraid. As it was, I ended up hospitalized and delivered early by C-section. We need to respect that women can understand the evidence, or lack of it, underpinning advice and risk messages, and accept the fact that there are no perfect answers. No one knows their own situation better than the woman herself. With the right information, women can make the best decision for their circumstances. I had severe nausea and pregnancy sickness, and asked my midwife if there was something I could take for it. She was sympathetic, but said I'd just have to see it through. I believed her. You trust experts to have the right opinion. I worried if I asked someone else for medication, then it wouldn't be safe for my baby. I ended up so unwell, I could barely leave my bed. Making the right decision will be easier to do if information is reported more clearly and risks are given context. Too often, research findings are sensationalized and women end up feeling scrutinized. A risk can double and still be exceedingly small. From experience, I know you can do everything right and still miscarry, but this isn't spoken about enough. Miscarriage is discussed as a risk that's linked to certain behaviors, giving the impression losing a baby is caused by something a woman did or didn't do. Each time it took a long while for me to accept I wasn't responsible. As a society, we have a collective role to play. We can all help women have healthier pregnancies. When we improve the whole population's mental and physical health, everyone benefits. Pregnant women do not live in isolation. My weight dominated every conversation with medical professionals during my pregnancy. I was so convinced I wouldn't be bringing a baby home that I didn't even put up a cot. I was told my birth would be complicated with emergency intervention likely. In the end, I had a problem-free birth, but I spent my whole pregnancy feeling terrified and shamed. Let's not forget that kindness counts. Let's be kind. Let's start from the basis that no one wants a healthy pregnancy more than the woman herself. For more information, visit www.risk.org at risk underscore project.